It is a different world at 5,000 feet, an empire of sky, adrift on waves of earth. We're hiking the Crawford Path, the oldest hiking trail in America. The path climbs up and over the spine of the Southern Presidentials in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Here, just below the summit of Mount Washington, we've entered the Alpine Zone, with conditions so harsh, the only thing growing seems to be rock. There is a particular exhilaration that comes with hiking an open ridge above treeline, complaints in the leg muscles offset by the endorphins exploding in the brain. And making a hike above treeline even better, knowing that someone's been up here working all day making a hot dinner for you. This is Chronicle on WCBB Channel 5. It is a most welcome sight for the weary hiker, the Lakes of the Clouds hunt. Hi. I made it. Awesome. Are you going to stay here tonight? I'm staying here tonight. I am a weary traveler. Welcome. Having hiked all day. <laughs> the Lakes of the Clouds hut sits on the shoulder of Mount Washington. At 6,288 feet, the tallest mountain in the Northeast. Operated by the Appalachian Mountain Club since 1915, the hut can sleep up to 92 hikers, hot dinner and breakfast included. We're going to wake you up at 6.30 in a melodious fashion, um, hopefully, and then breakfast will be served at 7 a.m. Great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Melodious yeah. fashion. Very melodious. Better than I get at home. The dog's <laughs> usually barking at home. <laughs> Guests sleep in shared bunk rooms. All right. Home sweet home. Unbelievable views. Oh my gosh. Lakes of the Clouds is the largest of the AMC's eight full-service mountain huts laid out across the White Mountains, roughly a day's walk apart. Using the huts, hikers can string together multi-day excursions without having to carry a tent, bedding, and food on their backs. So it's the biggest hut in the system. It's the highest elevation hut in the system, and it's one of the most popular. <laughs> Becky Fullerton, archivist for the AMC, tells us the founders of the AMC were nature-loving academics from the Boston area. And then the origins of the huts were just born out of their love of hiking, getting out into the mountains. They'd seen huts over out in Europe and thought, hey, we could probably do this kind of thing here in the White Mountains. Half the pleasure of staying at an AMC hut, meeting your fellow hut mates. Well, the White Mountains have been on my bucket list for a long time. Corey Bergeron of Largo, Florida, has been on the trail for seven days, making his way north over the southern presidentials. So what do you think of the Whites? Oh, man. First of all, spectacular. I would never expected the level of alpine hiking that you get here. Uh, I've hiked Glacier National Park, I've hiked in the Cascades, I'm used to seeing alpine vegetation and, and those kind of views out west, but I didn't think we had anything like that in the east. And then the other side of it, of course, is how incredibly rugged they are. I've done a lot of Appalachian Trail hiking in the south, and if you want to go up a steep mountain, there are switchbacks that go like this up the mountain. In the whites, they say, nope, we're going straight up that mountain. There are those, however, more interested in going straight down. It's a little crazy. I think people will still be skiing here in July at this rate. We'll get back to the heroic hunt for summer snow in a bit. For now, we just want to rest up and take in the view. And as the smell of fresh baked bread wafts out of the kitchen, we feel that deep sense of well-being one gets when the torment of our poor middle-aged muscles finally stops. Wow, that is so impressive, I just have to say. And the entire hiking season in 2020 was canceled, and it's the first time in the Appalachian Mountain Club history to ever do so. But good news, the hut will reopen this season. Right, the huts are going to reopen this month, actually, at half capacity to what they normally have. Then they're going to make a decision next month about whether they'll be open all the way through mm -hmm. October. So check back. Also a reminder, the accommodations... They're pretty basic, they're very rustic, <laughs> but hey, after a long day of hiking, feels like the four seasons. You'll be very happy to be there. Like I said, I'm <laughs> very impressed. Okay, on our visit to the Whites, we meet backpackers and backcountry skiers. <laughs> 